Hello everyone, my name is Kyle and today I'm going to show you how to save a report in Google Analytics. So I'm using the uh, Google demo account which is freely available to anyone and first I'm going to create a report, just a basic report. I'm going to look at landing pages and then I'm going to segment that by mobile visitors. So I'm creating my report here. So I've got landing pages. I'm going to add a second dimension of device category. And now I only want to see the mobile visit. So I'm going to come up here to the advanced filtering and look for a device category that contains mobile. So now I have the report that I want. But I made some, you know, additions to that basic report. I I added a secondary dimension and then I uh, put in advanced search here for mobile. So maybe I want to save this report for future use because I don't want to have to recreate all of these different things every time. And imagine if you had even more complicated filtering, you definitely don't want to recreate that every time. So what you can do, they have a great feature, you scroll up to the top bar here, notice it says save. So I'm going to click on save and it says save report and now you can name it so give it a name uh, that'll be meaningful, meaningful for you so this one's pretty straightforward I'm just gonna call it mobile landing pages because that's what I'm looking at and then I'm gonna hit OK so now I'll show you where it puts that report so now that report under the customization tab up here if we click on saved reports you'll see I now have a report called mobile landing pages. So I click on that. Here's my mobile page report. And if you noticed, it kept everything. It kept the secondary dimension that I had created and it has the advanced filter of mobile. So this is a great feature that will save you time and a lot of headaches in the future. So you can use this on any report, any report you can create, or even if you don't, make any modifications. If you want to just group them all under this save reports menu, you just come up here, hit save, and then now you have a report. Um, I'll show you one more thing. If I modify this, um, so let's say I want to see mobile and desktop. So I will uh, actually maybe tablet, that would probably make more sense make a slight tweak to the advanced filter. Now I have mobile and tablet visits here, landing page visits. And if I want to save this report, now if I want to save it under the same name, so I made a change, I'll hit save, and you'll see that it updated that report. So let's make sure that it did that. I'll go into saved reports mobile landing pages yep see it now we see the mobile and the tablet so it saved it so uh, so I guess the moral there is if you make changes to one of your saved reports be sure and update uh, the changes you made so my name is Kyle that's how to use the saved report in Google Analytics if you ever have any questions um, you can say hi to me on Twitter I'm at Kyle Ackerman K-Y-L-E-A-K-E-R M-A-N. Have a great day.